You know when you're looking forward to something so, so much that you like can't sleep the night before, it's like you're going to Disneyland the next day, like it's super exciting, and then you walk in the door and it's still not there. <sighs> okay, so on Tuesday, we got an email from our principal saying that on Wednesday there would be electricians in the building and they'd be working on installing TVs. <gasps> I got so excited because I'm one of the teachers that's working from school and one of our administrators had told me, well, we're gonna see if we can try to get all the teachers who are currently working on campus, their rooms done first so that you guys can use them. Awesome, perfect. Still not here. And I even moved my stuff around to make space for them. It's fine, I'm fine. It's all good. I'm just gonna move my stuff back. And if they come in, they can move it themselves. Um, I did walk into the room and saw a bunch of boxes though. So I'm wondering if this is my curriculum that I've been missing for the last nine weeks. Sure looks like it. Level four. Oh, another bin. Earth science. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice to have during earth science unit? That's okay guys, because you know what? I've already decided that I'm going to have to repeat a lot of what I've done already. Um, and that's fine, so yay! Module one, Earth Features. You guys, I'm so glad that I picked Earth Science to do first. Um, number one, why? Because I knew it was gonna be the very first thing that I should teach, or that I was going to teach, since it was module one that was missing, but I should have taught a different module first because I had the curriculum. However, the kids wouldn't have used the curriculum anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So anyway, I got that. Um, so it came with a teacher edition, and then each student gets a workbook, which will be very helpful um, when students return on campus, which I have some information about that. So, we had parent surveys go out. I'm actually gonna prop you guys up here because that's the most well used use of my time. Okay, so we had parent surveys go out last week and the week before that. They were supposed to fill out the survey before this Monday the 31st. The purpose of the survey was to tell the school whether or not their child would be returning on campus or if they would be continuing online. The last thing I heard was that we were missing quite a few surveys and that we didn't know what our numbers were going to be like. Also mentioned things like don't panic but if we don't have enough students we may have to relocate some teachers that's scary of course nobody panicked but everybody thought oh it's gonna be me it's gonna be me it's gonna be me Ooh, maybe they are gonna come today there's a new cord in here wireless display adapter they've clearly been up here so fingers crossed they're coming in anyway so nobody panicked, but of course, being a new hire at a, at a school that you're new to and hearing that some teachers will be relocated kind of freaks you out because you think, well, it's going to be me. I'm one of the new hires. I'm new to the school. You know, I'm also the science and social studies teacher, which everybody knows ELA and math are more important. I disagree, but in certain areas, not necessarily here. I'm not saying that at all. Like... I know they value science here at the school, which is why I really love being here. But anyways, um, if they had to, they could break up science and social studies into science and math and social studies and ELA, and that would be super easy. So of course, in my mind, I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm going to be the one that leaves. Meh, meh, meh. Whiny pants. You know, freaking myself out. And I know I shouldn't have done it, but I did. Um, there has been no word about anybody leaving. My principal is very, very... 
um, diligent about keeping all of her teachers here. So I don't feel like I really have anything to worry about. And at the end of the day, it is what it is. I'm at, it's out of my control. So anyway, that was kind of why the, um, there's bugs in my eyes. There's bugs in my eyes. Anyway, so that was kind of why we were all worried about the survey. So anyway, we got the results back and it looks like out of the whole school, sorry, I'm trying to get this freaking fly. So anyway, I'm trying to stay positive. So we got our test results back and it looks like we are losing 17 fourth graders. They will be returning or sorry, they will not be continuing school in person. They will be finishing out the semester online through our district's virtual academy and they will be using Edgenuity as their curriculum. I have no idea anything about Edgenuity. Um, I've heard complaints about it from neighboring districts. The parents of kids who are using it from neighboring districts. So it's all very, you know, kind of whatever. But that means we only have 58 fourth graders that are returning in person. I do not know what that means for us number wise. I do know that each of us will have less than 20 kids in the classroom, which would be ideal. Of course this doesn't fit. But it also means that our numbers aren't high enough to need three sections because technically we could have 30 students in a classroom. I just don't know if that's a CDC guideline. If it's not a CDC guideline and you can't have more than a certain number of kids in a classroom, then we might be in the clear. So we'll see how it goes. Like I said, they haven't mentioned anything to us yet, so I'm not gonna panic. I'm just gonna continue doing what I do and hope for the best. Okay, quick update because I keep playing with it. I did get some hair extensions the other day um, and I have been playing with them. <laughs> They are clip-in extensions, so I can take them out anytime I want, which I love. I can't, like, I've thought about doing, like, the permanent ones where you get them sewn into your head or taped on or glued on, but the idea of having them on my head all the time just makes me cringe. And I've worn clip-in extensions since high school, so I have always used a certain brand, and it's never failed me. So... I will do a video on my personal channel about my hair extensions. I have an administrator coming in today. I don't know when. During one of my Google Meets, she wants to film my welcome song moment. <clears throat> so that will be fun. Um, also, I did this really funny project with my kids um, for their continents and oceans review. And I had them using Google Earth and outlining continents and oceans. So I wanted to just show you guys. Um, I don't really know why this child did what she did, but she messed it up a lot. I don't know what this is for. Um, she just found a bunch of stuff on Google Earth, I guess. Um, okay. Anyway, so I have an admit. I have an administrator coming in here. I don't know when, at some point today, she's going to film my welcome song that I use, which is just a teaching and so forth welcome song. I need to learn some new ones, some new fun ones, to introduce when the kids come back to school. But that is happening today. Um, I forgot my new glasses that I wanted to show you guys, so I will show you in tomorrow's segment of today's vlog. Actually, I should just scratch this vlog. Hey you guys, happy Friday. And you're probably wondering why things look a little bit different in here. Well, let me tell you why. Next week is week eight of virtual teaching out of nine weeks. And so our students are coming back after fall break, October 5th. So we have two weeks left of online learning and then we have a two week fall break. And my memory card is pooping out. So hold on, let me go delete some stuff. Okay, as I was saying, so we have two weeks left of virtual school, then we have a two week fall break, and then kids return on campus August, sorry, October 5th. So I'm spending these next two weeks really trying to start preparing for when students come back to campus, and so part of that has been spacing out my desks. My administrators haven't really given me like 
hey, you need to do this yet, but I know that it's coming. So I thought yesterday I didn't really have much to do since I fully prepped and planned for the next week online. And so I decided to just kind of start spending my time prepping the room and getting things ready for kids. So that's what I'm gonna do again today because like I said, I am fully prepped for next week. So I did move around the desks. I have five rows of four students. So, you know, one, two, three, four, five. I have plans for 20. So with that being said, here's a plan for the day. I'm gonna get my stuff set up. Um, I am pulled away from the wall because they keep coming in to work on the television. They brought the bracket yesterday and it looks like it, they said that the electricians need to bring electricity over here. So I just moved myself away from the wall. That way if somebody comes in over the weekend, um, they can work. And then on Monday, um, I moved myself up here for like no reason because I thought my TV would come a lot sooner than it has. So I don't know, I might shift myself back over there just because there's really no reason for me to be up here if there's no monitor. I'm just, it's probably not gonna happen. I'll probably not even be here until like right before fall break and I won't even be able to use it for what I wanted to use it for. Whatever, it's fine. So I think this morning I'm gonna move myself back over to my big desk and just do my virtual teaching from there. I know I've moved around a lot, but uh, I just, I don't know, I just, I'm fickle, so whatever. Hey you guys, so I am pretty much done for the day. I literally feel like I just sat here all day. Um, I had my first Google Meet and then I spent two hours working on some other things and then I had my second Google Meet and then I had a meeting during my lunch break and then I had my third Google Meet and now I think I'm gonna go home and do my office hours from home. Um, it's Friday, I'm not supposed to have office hours today, but I am going to make myself available because my students are doing a project with Google Earth and a lot of them still have questions and need help. So I'm gonna, I told them I would make myself available at three o'clock um, and so I will log in at three while I'm getting ready for my friend's birthday dinner tonight. So I'm gonna go home and do that and I am so tired, you guys. Talking about parent-teacher conferences was exhausting talking about grading was exhausting. I am just like, I'm hitting that like pre-break burnout time, that moment where we all feel burnout before a break. I am starting week eight online tomorrow or on Monday, sorry, Tuesday. And I am feeling it, you guys, I am feeling it. We still don't have any information from admin about what school is going to look like when we return. Are we all gonna have a laptop cart? Are the kids rotating? Are we rotating? Um, does a face shield mat work as a mask? Are, like, what's our schedule gonna look like? How long are our blocks? There are still so many unanswered questions and it is making it very difficult to plan for returning to school, but we are gonna treat returning to school like the first day of school. The first three days of school will be all very heavy on community building, procedures and expectations, and then we also have a district assessment to give. So we're planning for the first three days to just do community building with our own homerooms and we will not be switching classes. So there will be no content at all those first three days. Um, and then we will start to ease into the rotation of teachers. So I still don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know if anyone's gonna take these desks. I don't know if I'm gonna need any more desks. I don't know how many kids are gonna be in my home room. I just don't know anything. So I am going to take this weekend completely off. I'm not going to log in for school at all until Tuesday unless I get like an email from a parent, then I'll probably answer because I always do. But I am toast with no jelly. So <sighs> thank you guys for watching today. I know it was kind of like mer mer, but and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.